I've got the new levers glued on and what I've done this time is I've actually epoxied on a little indicator lever uh, just a tiny little spot of epoxy that will lift off later so I have a really good look at how much the levers flex and pull you can see it's, it's moving a bit that's 30 pound let's see if I can get it up to 40 there's 40 pound so you can see that's a lot less flex than there used to be but it's still a little bit of flex well that's fine I mean I don't want to make the levers sort of stick right out here but that's quite a nice illustration of um, what at a casual glance looks to be ridiculously stiff this gives you an idea of the sort of cross section you know you'd think blimey that's not going to bend at all but pulling the bow to 40 pound actually 40 pound at the middle there what's the what am I pulling here is it 20 pound on each limb tip the geometry is weird with the angles and all the rest of it and it's either beyond me or I can't be bothered to do it but anyway it's now a matter of um, getting the tiller even so we're shifting at the tiller and try and stay out of camera shot for a change Scrape the um, the right limb a little bit, just taking the corners off to try and even it up. That's not looking bad. That's 45. That's looking very good actually. Blimey. <laughs> That's sort of 50, 50 at 24. Well, just shy of 50, which is what I wanted. So we're there, aren't we? Well, not quite, because I haven't got it braced. That's on the long string. But um, that's quite encouraging. And the levers haven't popped off. Ah, reminds me. That was my little test piece. I can't remember if you said I was a bit anxious that my glue was too thin. So I glued a couple of scraps. Now... You can see how hard I'm trying to push. You'd think that would normally, you'd just snap that bit of wood off, wouldn't you? Can't do it. No. Big screwdriver. So we'll get a big screwdriver in there. If I put it in and twist it. There, pop, it went. So what's broken? Let's have a look. The wood's broken, not the glue line. And that wasn't even clamped, that was just, you know, painting glue on either side, just pushing it down on there and letting it sit on the bench as a test piece. And uh, that's always a good thing to do. It's, you know, rather than fiddle with the actual bit you've glued up and, oh, is that glued yet? Oh dear, I've broken it. Do a little test piece. Anyway, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that, boys and girls. Subscribe and like and do all those other things. Right, bye-bye.